because stories are fun, right? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and thanks for coming across my channel. Like I really appreciate it. This is something like new and exciting that I'm trying to do for myself in 2016. So I kind of thought I'd start off strong and start with a story time for everyone and it's about my experience with Holt Run Free customer service. Now I know a lot of like these story time videos kind of like tend to go on like the negative dramatic side of things but I kind of wanted to like touch base and like let people know that there are good things that happen in customer service as well. I've worked in the retail industry for like since I was 15 years old so like almost eight years and even now I do customer service as well like doing different things so I think it's really important when someone does do a good job that you can actually shed a little bit of light on what they did for you. And it kind of backtracks a little bit to August and also a little bit more to the present as well. So I'll kind of start from the beginning. Um, so I had a gift card for Holt Renfrew which was given to my sister and myself because my aunt unfortunately passed away in the summertime. You know, she was like a really great person and I can't, I honestly don't want to touch base on it too much right now, but she left my sister and I this really great last gift and it was for both of us to go and get something to kind of like remember her by and so after some time my sister and I eventually like made like a day date to go to Holt Renfrew and find something to get that was from my aunt and as we both went, we both decided we were going to get some really nice purses because personally I'm not super big on jewelry. I wear like this one necklace from my boyfriend and I wear like one ring from him as well. So we both kind of decided a purse would probably be best because they last a really long time and everything. And so going through the whole store, I mean the gift card had a fair amount of money on it. We each had about like $500 to spend. Um, but it does cut out like a lot of like the bigger name brands that Holt Renfrew carry so I was kind of having my heart set on getting like a Mark by Mark Jacobs purse because that's like what I pretty much have right now and I love the style of it but Holt Renfrew stopped carrying Holt Renfrew unfortunately which totally sucked but I kind of looked around Rebecca Minkoff had some great purses and I finally found one that I liked and my sister found a purse for herself too and I guess because we had it took us so long to make this day date to kind of find purses. I kind of ran into like a split decision and just finally picked a purse for the sake of getting the purse. And I liked it, don't get me wrong. It's a really nice purse. I'll kind of put like a picture of it right here. Try and do that. <laughs> um, just so you can get a sense of like which one it was. Like it's a beautiful purse, don't get me wrong. I love Rebecca Minkoff style. Um, but I like wore it once and it just like wasn't my kind of deal. I kind of just set it aside, put it away. Um, Cause I guess like I was kind of hoping that I would learn to love it kind of. But if anyone like knew my aunt, she was like a very much type of person where if she didn't like something, she'd like go back right away and like get it fixed. But because I'm super passive aggressive, I waited quite a little while. So fast forward to now, it's January, still have the purse. I was kind of, I was thinking about my aunt a lot, so I was like, you know what, I want to get something that like I 150% love, and I know that's what she would want me to do as well, and so I decided to email into Whole Red Fruit because I couldn't find the return policy anywhere, and I unfortunately lost the receipt for this purse, but had all the tags and everything, um, and... I finally was able to send them an email to, to basically explain the whole situation and say, you know, I'm not looking for a refund. I really just want to exchange it and find something in your store that like, I absolutely love that I can remember my aunt by. And I honestly wasn't expecting that much from them and I even told them I lost the receipt and everything. And within about 24 to 36 hours, I heard back from someone like at my local whole rent through down here in Vancouver. And they were both like, you know, normally our regular product is 14 days for return or exchange and sales stuff is like seven days but like given your circumstance we will definitely like exchange the purse for you and I was so ecstatic like I don't think I've ever like smiled at like some sort of like genuine act of kindness like that like I know for the person like it's not like their personal money it's not some like little ma and pa store where they're actually like you know having to take into consideration their business but 
it was really great and I was actually really shocked because I was looking at so many reviews online of Holt Renfrew and people were saying no, they have like a terrible policy and like all this stuff. So I was actually pleasantly surprised and I finally went back in and I was looking around all the purses and I actually found one that I'm so in love with and I'll show it to you. And it's this. It's this like gorgeous Tory Burch purse. It's in this great beige color. I absolutely love it. You can either make it short like this or you can kind of puff this bad boy underneath and make it long as well. It's like my dream purse. I'm so happy with it. And it's just something that I thought I should pass along because like I said, good customer service doesn't really get passed along as much as bad customer service does. So I just needed to give a shout out to Alex and I think it was Emily at Holt Renfrew that sent me the email as well. Thank you for making this such an easy experience and thank you for giving me something to remember my aunt by. I know she's probably super happy about it as well and like I'm absolutely ecstatic. So that's the end of my story time. Thank you so much for listening. I mean I have tons of stories for the future that I would love to do videos on as well. So if you want to see more of those, please hit that subscribe button. And actually, I want to hear some of your stories as well. If you've had like a good experience or bad experience with Whole Run Fruit, I want to hear about it in the comments below. So please send me a little, little bit of love and a little bit of story time for me to read later as well. Um, thanks again, and we'll see you later.